Hey coach, let's take a look at how we defend the cutter. If you had a chance to watch our uh, building a pressure defense masterclass, then a lot of this stuff is going to go right into that. and This is going to be a supplement to it. If you didn't have a chance to watch the masterclass, it's inside the membership coaching academy. Go in, watch the video. There's also a 40 plus page ebook that shows you uh, the different sets that you're going to defend, how the help side rotation works, where to guard each person on the floor at different times, uh, and a lot of drills and stuff in there as well. So go check that out if you haven't been inside uh, to do that yet. But let's look here specifically at how we're going to defend the cutters. And how we're going to do that is we want to make sure that our players are jumping to the ball. What I mean by that is we want to go ahead, and if the ball is up top and there's a pass here, a lot of times this one will want to cut right to the hoop. Well, our defender needs to make sure that they jump towards the ball and make this defender go behind them. We never want our defense to stand here and to get face cut by the offensive player. It allows this player too many options. What can happen is our defender gets behind, so they go ahead and they pass it in here. And we do have help side, which is great, but since our defender got behind, he got cut in front of, what we've done is we've put this help side player in a bind. Are they going to come over and help on this drive, or are they going to Leave their and leave their man wide open, or are they going to stay to take away this pass, but potentially leave a leave a layup open? We don't want them to make that decision, especially when it's so close to the basket. So we need to make sure that we're teaching our players to jump to the ball. There's a lot of offenses that use this type of cut. So having this jump to the ball, and then we're going to go down. That keeps the offensive player behind us makes the pass much harder as they get towards the hoop. This person would now have to throw it over our defender who jumped to the ball and went downhill, and they've got to worry about the help side player. Help side doesn't have to move now unless the ball is thrown in the air. Now we can get a tip, we could possibly get a steal, we could be in a position for a charge, but our defender, back, our offensive player back here isn't as big of a threat because the ball is in the air, not in the player in the hands of the player who's going towards the hoop. So that's, you know, really the, the two big reasons is we don't want to get behind because we are out of position defensively from the person who is guarding the one cutting, and then we could possibly be out of position or get a foul because our help side has to do too much. So how do we teach this? And I want to give you a drill. The, the best way I, I think to teach this, uh, you can do it one-on-one -on -one if you want, and that's basically where we're going to start with the ball up top. We'll put our defenders in here. We're going to pass it, and then we're going to just cut. This person's got to jump and then make sure that they stay in front of them the whole time. Doing that one-on-one -on -one or two-on-two, -two, the repetition there uh, is, is great because it's going to get your guys and your girls used to that, that movement. If they don't get it, go ahead and circle back out. What we would do then is we would make the pass. It might be a dribble here but we would make the pass over to the other side. On that pass, we've got a new cutter coming in. So this defender, and I'll, I'll give us a new screen here so we can see it a little bit better. Our one just kind of came through, found himself up at the top of the key here. Let's see, the two had the ball, the two dribbled over, made the pass to the one, and now they're gonna cut. Well, this defender had to make sure that they were stayed jumped to the ball, and then they had to make the cut with them. So they're going to do the exact same thing. And you just kind of keep the drill going and have them do it for, you know, a minute and a half or two minutes where they're constantly moving. Unless there was a break in how this person cut and they got open and they scored a layup, we don't take any other shots. Even if a pass was made, if it's not a layup, we're not shooting it uh, because we want to ingrain this in our players. So that's one way to do it. As a team, I think one of the most effective ways to do it is just really out of a shell drill. So we'd go ahead and we would put our our players in here and let's give the put the one the two our three and our four everybody wants to make sure that they're defending their uh, person appropriately and the ball is just going to be passed let's say they pass it to the four here's our first cutter it's going to come all the way through this person jumps to the ball is going to go down with them hopefully taking away that layup the second person and we'll get a different color here is just going to rotate in and then they're going to get to a designated spot usually outside the lane and then they're going to cut 
So this defender needed to come all the way over, jump to the ball, and then cut in front of him. The third person would do the same thing. They're going to rotate up, make sure that they get outside the lane, and then they'll cut. This defender here, being two passes away when it's with the four, would be in the help side position to start, would meet number three up here, and now they're going to defend it, jump to the ball, and they're going to get in front of the, uh, the offensive player. These players just keep rotating. So eventually they'll all come back up full circle. We don't stop here at the rim. Number one is going to keep going. He's going to fill for number three. Number two is going to keep filling behind number one, and it's just going to be a rotation. Eventually everybody will have made their cuts through there several times, and you want to switch it. So all you're going to do is have your four instead of 